Hello friends, welcome back to the ARDL model series. In the previous lecture, we have learned how we are going to apply the multivariate analysis in ARDL model and this was my output. And we have also seen that whenever we were calculating the optimum lags for the independent variables, we have two independent variables. First is inflation rate and second is interest rate. For inflation rate, uh, our optimum lag was 1 and for interest rate, our optimum lag is 3. But since we have taken the combined optimum lag in case of independent variables, which was 3, so the result is with all the three optimum lags. Now in this you can see that for inflation rate uh, our results are my output is significant at optimum lag 2. But over here it's saying that for inflation rate the optimum lag 1 should be there. So let us try to remove the inflation lag optimum lag for inflation rate 3. Now let us see how we are going to remove this lag because we don't need it. So let us remove and then see the result. Now when we are including the inflation rate optimum lag of 3, you are seeing that inflation rate is significant at uh, your answer, your output is significant at the lag 2 of the inflation rate. Now let's try how we are going to remove the lag 3 from our output. So for that your command will be remove. I am just storing the command in vector remove. So you can say remove. Now I have to list all those items which I have to remove. So I'll write list. And then first of all, I'll write the P. P as you all know is a symbol for your independent variable. So I'm saying to R that remove the independent variable. Now which independent variable I have to remove. So again, I'm going to make a list of all independent variables which I have to remove. So the name of the independent variable is inflation rate. So I'm giving the command that from the inflation rate, you have to remove, so I'll write C, you have to remove the lag 3. Then enter. Now I'll create the model. So let me create model 2 is equals to ARDLM. And you will write formula is equals to exports then your tilt sign inflation rate plus interest rate comma data equals to data underscore indian echo because this is the excel file where i have stored the data p is equals to 3 and q is equals to 6 comma now i am giving the command remove equals to remove because i have stored the command in remove only so i'll say remove and then enter now summary model 2 now you can see the summary over here in the output inflation rate lag 3 is removed but when i have removed the lag 3 your Output for inflation rate lag 2 has also become insignificant. If you will see the previous result, the output was significant at lag 2. Once I remove lag 3, it becomes insignificant. Now, as a researcher, it is up to you whether you want to remove the lag or not. Now, in this output, I am seeing that inflation rate at lag 1, lag 2, your interest rate lag 1, 2 and 3 all are insignificant as well as the lags of export at lag 2, lag 3, lag 4 are insignificant. So let us learn how we are going to remove both uh, the lags of independent variables as well as the dependent variable so that I can get more robust result. So again let me store the command as remove only. So remove equals to I am going to list it. First of all I am going to list all the independent variables. So P is equals to list. Your independent variable is inflation rate is equals to C. I'm saying I neither want first lag nor second lag nor third lag. Comma. Second independent variable is interest rate. Now in interest rate also I'm saying I neither want 
first lag nor second lag nor third lag now next chance is for uh, we have only two independent variables so i have included both the independent variables now i have to include the dependent variable now we all know that the abbreviation for dependent dependent variable is q so i am going to write q is equals to my dependent variable is exports so exports is equals to c now in case of exports i don't need lag 2 3 and 4 so i'll give the command 2 comma 3 comma 4 and then enter now i'll create model 3 so let me say it's model 3 is equals to again ardl formula remains same everything remains same now i'll give enter and now summary model 3 now this is the output now in this output you can see that all the lags of inflation is removed all the lag of our interest rate is removed and lag 2 3 and 4 of export is removed and in this you can see that your adjusted r square is also improved now it is 0.7027 and in the previous case it was 0.6989 So that means once I am removing all the lags which are giving me insignificant results, my model is improved. So that's all for today's lecture. How we are going to remove the lags? In the next lecture, we are going to learn how we are going to check the goodness of fit of the ARDL model. That means whether our results are robust or not. That we are going to learn in the next lecture. Thank you.